This course is about uh, some applications of machine learning and the goal of this course is to show these applications and uh, uh, to explain students that uh, you can think about uh, business goals, you can think about economic effect and uh, it's rather a good idea to think about it. An advanced data scientist uh, think about uh, business goals and uh, can formulate uh, machine learning tasks connected with business goals. I would say the most interesting and both the most challenging is to communicate with our customers, to try to feel ourselves on their place and to see how they see their own business and their own companies and trying to not just do data science as a service for somebody just to make model and give it to customer and forget about it but just trying to feel like it's your own company and you do really want to solve this task and to be just part of it. And uh, another thing is to see how your work impacts the business. When we are trying to really get into the business process of our customers to understand what business models they are using and how their business is working and in terms of their business goals try to create correct problem statement for them. This is really hard because we both have uh, kind of different background and they prefer to speak in a business um, topics. We prefer to speak as a machine learning specialist and it's hard to meet our um, position sometimes. One of the challenges in industry uh, is uh, lack of data uh, and uh, I think that using uh, machine learning theoretical background uh, you can deal with it. For example, you can use robust models or uh, some bugging techniques. When you're doing data science in industry, you should think about uh, the economic effect of your model, not about cool math or uh, rocket science or the state-of-the-art methods. For now, uh, computer vision is kind of popular. Now there are a lot of different startups about big data and uh, natural language processing and deep learning. But as for me, I can see that the future of machine learning is moving to the manufacturing and some uh, complicated process optimization, where you have a lot of different parameters, you have a lot of data according to the state of your system, and you have to somehow optimize the work. I can advise to have practice. Uh, to solve machine learning tasks, uh, to discuss your uh, projects with uh, other data scientists uh, and uh, to learn new tools for machine learning. Uh, some courses about machine learning or data science could be useful too, but it shouldn't be your major activity. Um, I advise to have uh, some experience. I would say the most important things is to do what you really like and if you're interested in this domain and if you really want to solve these problems and to be part of the data science uh, society, you just should believe yourself, just work, work hard, because when you're doing something it always is at least some results. Just don't stop, never give up and work as hard as you can.